Hey guys, and welcome back to another Let's Play Retro Gaming video, your weekly source of retro gaming videos. This is episode 11 in the series. Now in today's episode, we're going back to 1997, and we're going to be playing this game over here, which is called Age of Empires. Now, Age of Empires is a real-time strategy game, or RTS for short, and it was the first real-time strategy game that I ever played. This is long before I even heard of Total Annihilation, Starcraft, Warcraft, or even Heroes of Might and Magic, which is a turn-based game, but we'll get into that a bit later. Today it's all about Age of Empires. Let's get started. Oh, stained glass windows. Must be in a cathedral or something. To be honest, I don't remember this intro. Um, I think this is only from the Definitive Edition, um, which means just high graphics and all this and that they put in waypoints um so uh, like for buildings and stuff uh, which is so handy and useful but i uh, will get into that a bit later we'll probably play the classic version but wow look at this intro even the music epic oh yeah stained glass nice oh wow that's right that's right <laughs> Okay guys, so before we start the game, I wanted to show you these editors that they have in-game. So click on editors, you've got, you know, custom scenario editors as well as a campaign editor. Now as a kid, I never really did the campaign editor that much. I really only stuck with creating scenarios, so let's give that a try right now. Okay guys, so this is a scenario editor. Pretty easy, um, we can change the map size here, we'll just leave it as large. And um, before we do that, let's go to players. So we'll put in like three players. We can adjust their like food and everything. So for example, if I hit player one, I can, you know, give myself an extra boost. All right, gold. Let's put, uh, that's the digit that everyone loves. <laughs> All right, and population, let's just leave it as um, 50. And we can edit every single player. So population let's just put them as 10 all right play it play a three oh, if i can even get there play a three population leave it as um four oops that's a lot of people all right four okay and then we can adjust their food and everything as well individually which is awesome and we can also change their civilizations and everything as well as the starting age so let's just do player one let's put the starting age as uh, post iron age um, so iron age just mean is when they're going there post iron age i think means you've unlocked everything i'm not sure we'll give it a try and anyway so let's go back to the map Okay, and let's go to random, random map and change it to Mediterranean. Let's hit generate. And you can see here down in the little map preview, here's player one, which is us. Player two is over here and then player three is down over there. All right, so right now, um, this is us. Now, as I said, we're gonna be in post iron age. Not sure what that is. I can't remember to be honest. But this is the custom editor. Now, as I mentioned before, this was like amazing as a kid. Now, this game did release in 1997. So having an editor uh, that you could do this was just amazing. So let's click terrain at the top here. And let's just say I don't want this desert dunes or anything. So let's go down, find grass. Here it is. Nice lush grass. And we can just put it in. Now, it looks a bit you know weird or whatever so let's just make this a bit better there we go that looks a little bit better all right nice green and lush in that however if we wanted to blend in that's easy we could just go to grass sand over here put it as tiny and then there we go we could start blending things in all right oh <laughs> and there we go all right if i wanted more sea land or if you notice, I got rid of all these trees. So let's just go to um, Forest Oasis. Let's do this. And there we go. We can just repopulate all those trees in. Right. And let's just say I don't like this cliff or anything. 
All right, I, I can just get rid of all these cliffs. All right, um, so let's just do cliff two. Oh, it's up higher. Okay. Oh, sorry, that's elevation. My bad. All right, let's get rid of this elevation. I don't want it to be up high. Let's go to cliffs. All right, now I don't want these cliffs, so I can just delete them just like that. There we go. Very simple, very easy, nice editor. Now, it's not limited to just doing the terrain. We can place in units as well. So if I go to Gaia over here, we can put in some gold mines. So let's just say this is not enough gold for me and I want to be crazy. I can add in more gold. Um, and then where is berry bushes? Here we are, berry bush. We can put in more berry bushes or whatever. And let's just say I want to make my opponent suffer a little bit. Let's go over here. Let's find lions. All right, here's lions. We'll, there's normal lions, which is there. And then this is alpha. So let's just make their life a little bit hard. Just put a line here. Let's go to these guys as well. And maybe they won't have a lion. Let's give them an alligator or crocodile. I think it's under crocodile. So there's crocodile, normal, and then there's alpha. Let's put an alpha one there. Let's see what happens, you know, just to make them suffer a little bit, give us a little head start. But that's the editor. Pretty simple, pretty easy. We can also add in units that we want. So for example, if I want some more villagers, I can always just place in my own, right? Or I can place in Gaia villagers, which will be just like that. If I want my own, I can just simply put player one in, which is like this. And then we can actually test it, see if this map works out really well. Let's hit test. And here we are, we're in the post iron age. So that means we can, we've got everything. Now let me just put in a barracks. Oh, can't put it on the berry bush. Let's get everyone to help build. Let's scroll out a little bit. Now this guy, I'm gonna get, get you to come over here, find those people. Now. Gaia players, the moment you reach them, they become your own. So, all here. These guys are all ours now. Alright, let's just build a wonder, keep them busy. Alright, and yep, everything has been upgraded. No problem with that. Loving life right now. Everything seems good. Give your friend a little bit of a hand, actually. Let's take a look at this. Nearly upgraded. Oh, nearly built, I mean. All right, yeah, so post Iron Age, everything is unlocked, which is beautiful. Now, let's just put in some cheats, so no fog and reveal map. All right, and let's take a look to see how our opponent's doing. Now, these guys, oh, they managed to kill the alpha lion, but the lion managed to get someone. So, overall, good job. All right, and then over here, look at that. This alligator here, the alpha alligator, managed to kill everyone in one bite. So alpha alligator is the way to go if I want to be really ruthless. All right. Um, so, and that's pretty much the editor. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now, this is the definitive edition. So that means all the textures and everything are higher resolution. Okay, guys, since it's a retro video series, I think we'll go back and we'll play the classic edition, which doesn't have all these waypoints. So this is what I mean by waypoints. Um, you can just place these gather points, yeah. So when you um, create a villager, I need to build more houses, uh, they'll just automatically go there. Anyway, let's start the game. Okay, guys, so we're going to be playing a single player map. Uh, we're going to leave it as three opponents and everything. Now, we can change our civilization. Now, I don't remember there being this many people, to be honest. Um, so, we'll just leave it as random. And we can change our color and everything, but we'll just stick to the original blue as player one. Now, let's change this. Now, deathmatch starts off with like a whole bunch of goodies. Whereas, if you just do random, you just get whatever. So, we're just going to do this just so we can boost our economy pretty quickly. Um, we'll leave it as continental, map size, medium, two players, so we can keep everyone near us. We'll have reveal map on, population limit, maybe we'll leave that as 50. And uh, starting age, uh, we'll just leave it as normal. Now, I tried this before as nomad. 
and let me tell you, playing as Nomad, um, and I, I had the game mode as random map, you start off with nothing, just one villager, and you got to create your town center. However, the enemy, once they build their town center, they start off with like 2,000 or 5,000, not really sure how many, like, materials they start off with but they're able to generate villages just instantly just like that for us we we need to like gather like berries and all that so we're just gonna leave everything as deathmatch leave all this as it is victory standard now uh, we can just leave this as standard as well as I said I had it on the hardest before so we'll just leave it as standard speed normal as I as we tested out before in the editor that was a definitive edition so we're gonna be doing classic graphics aren't as nice however retro gaming video let's do it retro style anyway uh, extra settings uh, we're not gonna allow cheats I allowed cheats before just so I could show you in the editor and we'll have the full tech and that's pretty much it and let's start the game okay so here we are we start at the bottom now we can't zoom in or anything so uh, first of all let's get this um, now to build things luckily it's set up as in QWERTY so Q uh, yeah Q W E R T um, so that's pretty easy for us now we're gonna need one of these place it over here all right this guy's done we're gonna need a storage pit uh, really should have chose a better area for that but however it's there uh, let's get two villagers and then oh, that's it we need two stone age buildings which is here and there okay now it's just a waiting game now let's take a look at these guys look at them build everything they're just advancing so fast okay so we gotta really try and catch up all right let's place a dock over here Whoop. Okay, that's done. You can start chop this tree. All right. Um, oh my god, I'm feeling the pressure because everyone's building everything so quick. All right, let's go over here. We're gonna need to place another storage pit there, and now we can upgrade this. Okay, awesome. The key is to getting a lot of villagers. So once that's put in, we're also gonna need more houses. If you hold control, you can place multiple houses down. Unfortunately, they go to the latest, like, building that you place down. So, I press all these, it's going to start here and you'll work its way backwards. Alright, so, everyone seems active and all that. Alright, so, 5,000, 10,000, and then 20,000 of these. Alright, so pretty good. All right, one house is done. Now, in that first age, there is no upgrades. Uh, this can stay over here. All right, and this guy can start mining. Okay, this guy's done. You can mine this. Now, we're going to need a lot of stone as uh, you use stone to build watchtowers and everything. Now, we really need to like go crazy with these watchtowers and everything. Upgrade it as soon as we can. Oh, this is nice. We should get that. Now, the hardest thing is we chose um, a smaller type of map. So that means our opponents are going to try and raid us ASAP. So not a good look, not a good thing. Let's build some fishing boats. Three is good. Okay, awesome nearly at the is it tool age all right awesome this guy's ready and we can start building whatever's going to be next okay so here we go we can place in the market and market's very useful as oh, first of all start fishing here market's very useful as it allows us to build farms temples and government centers so very handy Farms are very good, especially in late game, as it's very hard to find food, as all these berry bushes, you probably like collect all the resources, so you're going to need farms. Same thing with um, fishing too, so you're going to need to start fishing early as well. Alright, so we've got a villager here as well. He can start building houses. 
Okay, help out. Uh, let's get this out of the way. Okay, and there we go. There's one spot. Alright, so let's place a farm here. Okay, you can help build this as well. Okay, that person can go there. And actually, you know what? We can upgrade, right? Uh, we need two tool age buildings. Alright, what haven't we built? Um, we've got everything. Oh, we don't have a barracks, actually. Yeah, let's place a barracks down. That's crazy. I thought I would have placed one already. Okay. Come over here. Let's just double check. Houses, check. Barracks getting built. Granary, that's already built. Storage built, built. Dock built. Market, and that. So everything's there. Nice. And let's start researching watchtowers and everything. Alright, now... Now that that's built... What? Two tool age buildings? What haven't we built? Oh! Okay, how come these just... Something happened, I'm not sure. Alright, so let's place in this over here. Okay, and let's get a stables. Maybe a stables can go... Um over here we gotta spread out our resources okay all right and all right let's start placing in our watchtowers we're going to need them all right uh maybe one can go right here Okay, we've got a villager. Alright, so there we go. Finally. Okay. Progress. Alright, another watchtower. Let's place it over here. To be honest, I want to secure all here. So, nice. Alright, let's just start building all these watchtowers. So, place them down. It may seem crazy, but it's we need to do this. Right. May as well start researching all of these as well, since we got, you know, all our resources. Alright, this guy, come in as well. Alright, so they already got scout ships, so they can attack us by sea. Alright. And let's just do all of this. I think we need more villagers, eh? Yeah, let's get some more villagers in. What was that sound? Do we upgrade something? I think so. Alright. Automatically reseed farms. Which is good. Alright, so yeah. So this is getting researched. That as well. Okay. We're still in the Bronze Age, which is alright. Alright, look, they're starting to build stuff near us. What is this? Oh, stables and a town center. Town center, so they've already advanced to the next level. Okay. Alright, I'm very tempted to start building up an army, but I, I just gotta hold out. Just hold out for a bit. Alright, need to get these watchtowers in. Alright, they can still come this way. Oh my god, I didn't realize these guys here. Okay, so I'm going to need to start placing them over here. Excellent, so we've leveled up. Get in some more villagers. Excellent, and what else can we research? Just research everything while we got the money for it. Okay, this... That and that. Alright. Alright, so you boys come over here. Okay. 
Okay, one person's doing nothing. Uh, here you are. Alright, so come over here. Uh, actually, no. I'm gonna need you to start building stuff so then we can upgrade. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. look at these guys, huh? Trying to destroy our buildings. Oh, that's not going to stand, buddy. Not at all. Okay. Alright. Academy. Um, if I can... Uh, okay, there we go. Okay. Government center. You can go right here. Okay. So, watchtower is Y. Okay. Handy to know. Can we upgrade? Not yet. Okay. Help these guys out. Actually, I think this is to upgrade, right? This one and this building here. Okay. Why? Oh no! They've already got a catapult. Okay. Come on, come on, build, 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 build. Come on, just get rid of this thing. Oh my god, look at all their war elephants. Oh man, alright, we really need to upgrade. Uh, what are we missing? Alright, temple, do I have that? No. Alright, let's just quickly build this. Alright, our villagers here, come up over there, and why? See, they don't want watchtowers, do they? Alright, okay, you guys are done here. Okay, so let's see. No, don't want that. Okay, there we go. So we're researching, nice. Alright, so can we... No, we can't. Okay. Alright. Let's go, boys. Oh! This guy's already coming for us. So let's start building here. Let's place as many things as we can down. Okay, start with this one. Alright, you guys there, just come over here. Alright. I think I'm going to need to deal with them. Alright. Alright guys, I'm going to try and build my watchtowers and everything up. Um, I'll see you guys in a second once I manage to take control of this. Oh, there we go. Alright, come over here. Oh no, I blocked these guys in. They can't do anything. They have to cut, chop trees down. Alright. I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes once I regain control. Oh no. No, oh, they're gonna get rid of my watchtower. How about these guys? Okay, you guys keep going. Kill here. Oh no. Ah oh, yes, got rid of him. Okay. After you deliver that, actually I'll get you. Cover that. Okay guys, so we're back and um, we managed to clear off quite a lot of area here. Now we're just trying to destroy everything. Um, we actually should get some more. Um, I want these, these guys, alright, seven of them, and are these built yet? No, okay, so I've just been trying to upgrade everything, so I think most of our stuff is upgraded, oh, take it back, alright, just trying to upgrade everything that I can see, um, villagers move faster, much stronger in combat, but carry less resources, 
I don't know if I want that. But, yeah, if they're going to be in the front lines, yeah, I may as well get that. Um, not going to be using priests as, um, I don't think I'll need it. I end up using some before, but, yeah. Alright, so these guys are going pretty well. Let's go through. Um, come over here. Alright, so you can see we use quite a lot. Of stone. Alright. Okay. Alright, this thing's not done yet. Alright. And our chariot riders come over here. See this? That's beautiful wall. That's what I want. You guys come over here. Alright, nice. Okay. This guy, just come over here. Get rid of this. Oh, there's something down here, right? Okay, you get rid of that one. That's it. Nice. Alright, let's upgrade this guy All right and then I want some more of them okay get rid of this and everyone here you guys are gonna be team one so control one all right let's get rid of this elephant rider nice oh oh good they're attacking each other Oh, to be honest, I should get rid of this town center so they can't get more people, but we're probably going to spawn people from here. Got my priest, yeah. Alright, bring my priest over here. And let's... I'm going to need you here. going to get you to convert a building for me. Not sure which one, but... I need my guys. Oh, get rid of this armored elephant. Oh, somebody's here. Get rid of this guy. Oh my god, so many hit points. Oh, nice. Alright. You guys come up here as well. Actually, one. one and are you oh yeah yeah it's it's coming along all right another priest up over here oh, see I had a second one right here a blister tower but yet they oh get... oh no that was his only goal all right why why can't I place... I had one here before. Why can't I place it? Is it because this guy's there? Yeah, it was. Okay, there you go. Come back. Okay, one. Uh-uh. No one's allowed to go up here. It's my area now. Oh my god, they've got so many elephant riders. Alright, I need quick units. Alright. Seven bowmen. I need more farms actually, so get some more villagers. Six. Alright, go after one. If I can get rid of one like tribe, it'll make my life so much easier. Oh, there's the catapult. I was wondering. Oh, we've reached our population limit. Okay. Alright, no worries. Um, if that's the case, uh, you come over here, get rid of this. Our other war vessel. Grab this one. 
Alright, one. Okay. This is scary if it releases. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, it's getting him. Oh, good. Alright, let's get this. Grab that. Oh no. People. Oh, it's okay. Get rid of this one. Alright, I think once I get rid of these two. I know there's a house here, but. Yeah. Alright. Okay, get rid of this elephant rider. Oh, look at his health drop. Nice. Oh, wow, he's trying to get to my archer, eh? Didn't happen. Nice. Alright. Let's get rid of this. Uh oh. What's. Ah, uh, is it my. My ship, yeah. That guy. Alright, yep, this guy resigned. Nice. Get rid of this thing here. There's no point, but he's resigned. But, eh, just get rid of it. Clean the battlefield up. Oh no. these guys to come into the fight now and where are my other guys here composite bowman and you guys control one you all right so they go around this way oh I think they're gonna run into some trouble this way Alright, that's alright. Okay. Just get rid of their ships first, eh? Reach up population limit. Oh wow, how do we get 51 out of 50? That's weird. Oh, nine villages. Alright, so there's one villager here. And what did I need my villagers for? Farming. Yeah, that's right. Alright, so let's place another farm here. Uh, was another villager. Okay. Uh, oh, sweet. The f finished doing all of that. Okay. Couldn't do all this one, though. Alright, let's just get rid of that. Do we get a refund? Um, I didn't know if that went up. <laughs> Alright. Um, but it's okay. No one's going to come this way. No one's foolish enough. Alright. Uh, farm's going there. And ten more villagers. Oh, someone here as well. Alright, let's place a town center over here. And another person. Okay. Alright. Just leave it as one. Okay, what is the hotkey? F. F five. Okay, there you go. And priest. Um, convert this thing. Okay, and who else is doing? Oh, my fishing ships. Okay, um. Alright, so there. There, and one more there. Alright, four more villagers. Oh, they're hiding around over here. Alright, let's get a farm here. Uh, you can place a farm somewhere there. Three more. Okay, this guy here. Um, and then you guys. Oh, I should really be watching the battle, eh? Okay. Okay, convert this. Alright, um... This guy as well. Over here. Alright, so one. Work together as a team. 
Yeah, see? They just got rid of me. Alright, so. Get those guys. These guys. Control one them. Alright, let's get rid of all of these uh, villagers first. Alright, now. All artifacts have been captured. Beautiful. Alright, let's just hide this over here. Okay, now I can start building these. Armored elephants. Seven. All artifacts were lost. How? Oh! Was it this thing? How? Did they capture it again? Yes. Alright. Come. Ah, oh, because of this guy, huh? Alright. Once it's captured, we'll bring it back. Yeah, okay, there we go. Alright. Oh, this guy's still busy. Okay, where's my other warship? Let's get rid of that so I can get more. Okay, what's here? Come over there. We are victorious. Excellent! Okay, so... 50 minutes, not bad, not bad, I kind of rushed through it. Uh, let's take a look, the main thing is the timeline. There's other stuff here which is good, like military. Uh, 444 kills, 70, that yeah, we've lost 42, they lost quite a bit, yeah. Um, we had the largest army, awesome. Uh, let's go to timeline. Yeah, you can see right here, this is where they nearly destroyed me. Um, so <laughs> probably around here is where uh, the 12 minute mark or something like that. I was like, all right, uh, let me get back to you guys. And I had to hustle, but <laughs> nearly wiped out and then bang, look at that. Perfect. Okay guys, and that concludes this episode of Retro Gaming. This was Age of Empires, and I hope you had as much fun reminiscing as I did. Now if there's any other game that you want me to play, please message down below and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thanks for watching this video, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, guys, take care. Bye.